This is Clem with Clem's Organic Gardens in Brevard, North Carolina. Today is May 14th and I want to show some of my cover crops and I'm doing an experiment with no-till planting of winter squash. And this is the beginning phases of that. So this is a cover crop of rye. The variety is Rins Abruzzi rye, uh, which is a southern adapted variety that worked out really well. Um, and mixed in there is crimson clover that is not really very visible. The rye really kind of took over. And it is at, uh, gosh, what you might call the late dough stage, something like that. It's, it's starting to form seeds. Uh, they're still, they're still soft. Uh, I don't think they're viable yet, but cover crops can be tricky like that. When it turns out, they were viable. So you can see some of the crimson clover is... It's kind of past its main flowering stage. I don't think it's formed seeds yet either. Um, and so this is kind of the time when you're supposed to kill it. So they say. Um, and then so the other half of this block, this field, is oats with crimson clover. Um, my original idea here was that... Uh, so I planted all this stuff in the fall back in uh, uh, late August, I think, actually. And the idea is that the oats would winter kill. They'd grow in the fall and then die over the winter time, which normally would happen, I think, but we had a very mild winter, and the oats survived quite well, as you can see. And that's, they're kind of dominant in here. Uh, there, I mean, there should be at a similar stage of their sort of milky, doughy seeds. But again, I know oats particularly have a tendency to form viable seeds before you think they can. But the idea was to have just a lush crop of crimson clover here that I would roll down to kill. But I think this actually might be better because the crimson clover just didn't grow all that much. There's a lot more biomass here because the oats survived. Um, so what am I going to do is I'm going to drive through this with the cultipacker back here and it'll just it'll just roll the roll the cover crop down uh, this is a Dunham double cultipacker I, I like this thing um, it's not like the ideal implement to accomplish this task they make what they call a roller crimper that is designed to roll through a cover crop like this and crimp it it's sort of like smash the the structure of the stem as it rolls over it and that's supposed to really kill it um, but I don't have that thing and besides I'm going to after I roll it over I'm going to cover it with tarps um, should happen tomorrow uh, tarps just like these these exact tarps will pull this off of here and move the tarps onto the the flattened cover crop here and leave it on there for probably two weeks um, which should kill kill the cover crop whatever didn't get killed by the just the rolling and I know there's there's some weeds in there uh, that will survive the rolling and hopefully that tarp will kill them I know there's some grasses in there there's some buttercup and probably some plantain that are just kind of in the they were already there. Uh, I, I just broke ground, plowed this field up about a year ago, probably maybe even less. So there's still some perennial weeds in there from that were just in there from the sod. Uh, so, oh, and then I'm gonna plant winter squash into it. Uh, but there will probably be another video demonstrating that. Uh, I'm gonna fire up the tractor and roll through this thing. I'll just leave the video rolling and keep the tractor rolling. That'd be good.
camera with me. I'll show you the rest of it. So the oats are not as being not being as cooperative as the rye is. As you can't see right now. So I'll go ahead and do the rest of this. Um, you get the idea. Um, these oats, the ones on the edge, the bed edges didn't really get knocked down. They kind of sprung back up. I'm not sure why. Why the rye didn't do that. But I might go over them a few more times and try to smash them down a little bit more. But yeah, that's the that's the gist of it. There will be another video about this, I am sure.